Namaste and uh, welcome to episode 25 of my uh, property investment series on YouTube. And today I'm going to talk about the uh, Project Information Center in Singapore, right, for the rapid transit system. This is something I think a lot of people are not aware of. Uh, but before we start, let's do a bit of uh, introduction. Director of Alpha Marketing, uh, incoming supply in Johor. This is good. Thank you. I am joining. Thank you for today's presentation on Scandinavia. Uh, my name is Ryan Ku. I'm a property investor, and a uh, I am a Malaysian. I've been based in Singapore since 2009, so over 10 years now. So I'm semi semi Singaporean. <laughs> I'm a permanent resident here. Uh, I've done lots of property transactions, Malaysia, Singapore, uh, US. Um, I, 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 I consider myself someone who is quite well-versed uh, in uh, markets, not only Singapore, but also Malaysia and other parts of the world. I've written uh, books on property investment. I've written articles for The Age. I've been featured in Business Times, in um, Straits Times, um, uh, lots of media on, on real estate investment. Right? I gave uh, talks regularly back in the day. Uh, I guess with uh, COVID, uh, down now, I probably will probably see some events being held again for real estate investments. I hope to talk, see you guys in person, talk about property again. Property is my favorite subject, uh, something I'm passionate about. I made lots of money as an investor. Uh, I made a lot of money as an agent as well. I've also lost a lot of money as a property investor. Um, yeah, so <laughs> the good and the bad, right? Uh, I think that's what also made me a better investor overall today. So um, let's start today's video. So today is about the RTS, so in case you guys don't know what the RTS is, or it's the first time you've listened to me about this, RTS is basically the rapid transit system. I mean, I jokingly call it the road to Singapore. It's basically an MRT link, right, between Woodlands in Singapore to Johor Bahru uh, City Centre, right? It's, it's to be completed in 2026, right, the end of 2026. And it was it's a game changer to me for real estate investment uh, in Johor Bahru, especially in Iskandar, because uh, the price gap is very huge today. Uh, the problem today, of course, is uh, connectivity, right? Uh, there's very poor connectivity uh, between JB and uh, Singapore today. Uh, people still experience traffic jams and, and it's quite difficult to cross. You can, you can spend easily an hour minimum to two, three hours, four hours or more is uh, uh, not uncommon, <laughs> right? So. It's pretty bad for something which is just next to each other, right? And I believe GB property prices will go up tremendously uh, or you'll see a significant price jump once the RTS is completed. So let me start with, uh, you may have seen some earlier videos. I linked one video above, right? Where I talk about the RTS earlier and you also see some RTS videos probably at the end of this video uh, that I recommend, right? And today I'm going to talk about the Project Information Center in Woodlands. Now, this is located here. You can see I put the address down here. So 51A Woodlands Avenue 9. If you'd like to visit yourself, this is open to public, right? Um, basically, working hours 9 to 5, right? Excluding lunch hour, but it's closed on weekends and public holidays, so you probably have to find uh, something in your weekday schedule to go and see this, right? It's a bit hidden, right? Uh, the security guard, actually, when the day I visited, uh, wasn't... <laughs> particularly welcoming but if you insist you can go in right uh, because it is open to public right and uh, right now this is the only project information center available uh, there's none on the Malaysia site yet right I, I suspect you'll probably have one eventually but right now the only physical one you can visit is this one in Singapore at this address below so if everything I'm sharing with you in this video tonight actually comes from uh, from this location okay so this is a photo of the RTS, uh, the Woodlands North uh, Customs and Immigration Building, right? I think many of you have probably not seen this before, <laughs> right? Uh, I think this, this picture or this artist impression has not really come out in the media yet, but you can see as a red brick facade, right? Uh, this is a pretty big building. You wonder, you ask me, Ryan, where is the MRT track? It's underground, yeah? Because uh, at this stage, it's all underground. Right, this white color part actually is a, a drop-off point. Later, there's a video that I will share where you can see some of this. Right, so this is the Customs and Immigration Building in Singapore, yeah? right, in Woodlands North, for the RTS that goes to uh, to JB. Right, if you, this is another perspective from the other side. So this is the existing. If you see my mouse, this is the existing. Uh, I don't know if you can see my mouse, or not, but this is the the white color building in the forefront. In the foreground is actually the existing Thomson. Uh, line Woodlands North MRT station, yeah, Thompson Wood uh, Line, uh, Woodlands North. This is already ready, yeah, 
this station is completed today, right? This white color portion in the front here is the uh, what do you call that? It's not a car park, it's like a drop off, right? And this is the building itself. So, the building goes underground, I think three stories, right? You can see there's a cutoff here, you can see basement one and basement two, right? So, basement one is the arrival, basement two is the departure that goes to JB. Okay. So um, there are some photos also in this uh, project information center. So you can see uh, this is an old photo from about 2016, where they show you the original condition even before the completion of the Woodlands North Station, right? So at the time, the, the Thompson East Coast Line TEL, right? Woodlands North Station, this was not even ready yet, right, in 2016, right? And then you have, you have some photos to show you the progress. So this is in 2018, where the Woodlands North Station was uh, nearing completion. Uh, Woodlands North is also underground line, huh? so you don't see any above ground uh, track. And you can see next to it, they start the land clearing excavation works for the RTS station because the RTS is connected to the Singapore uh, MRT. If you want to find out more, you can see my earlier videos, right? And if you see in uh, as of quarter one this year, right, they are still uh, they are doing a lot of piling works right now for the construction of the RTS station. And you can see behind here, this is a uh, Woodlands basically, Woodlands uh, Marsling area. Right, uh, the other side, of course, is a uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Johor Bahru. Okay, so th there's some nighttime photos. So, this one is actually the boring on the streets of Johor. Yeah, this is the sea. Yeah? So, at night, they are doing some drilling, right, to build the, the viaduct. Right, if you don't know, the data I show you okay, what the viaduct is. Okay, so these are some uh, shots taken from the scale model. Right, and the scale model, I have put some arrows here to point out some of the key buildings that you may be wondering. <laughs> right. The scale model quite accurate. Right? If you go there, you'll notice they have done it quite accurately. They are not just some chin chai throw some building, right? These are actual uh, done up to uh, done up to the area. So this is the station, right, that you've seen earlier, the RTS station in Singapore. So basically it's underground uh, for some portion. As if it's just a sea, it becomes a background, uh, of course. Right. So you can see it's underground from the beginning, they come out here. Yeah, uh, to the shoreline that it becomes uh, exposed, right, above ground, right? You may be wondering what are these tall buildings here? Actually, they don't exist today. Uh, currently, this is the uh, former Admiralty West Prison. I think they have closed down since 2018. Uh, if you go even back, that was a Malaysian naval base building, uh, even back, uh, if, you go, if you go back 30, 40 years ago, right? Uh, Republic Poly is then in the background, you can see it there, right? And this road actually next to Republic Poly will be built, uh, Right, and actually Woodlands North Station, of course, is, is over here. Okay, so this is one angle. If you, if you follow the track, right, towards the sea, right, uh, this, uh, this is a photo I've taken. So as I mentioned, approach tunnel, there's a land viaduct, and basically it's a marine viaduct. So viaduct is basically, well, viaduct is basically like those uh, pillars, that, right, that hold up the track, right? So that's what a viaduct is. So you can see the viaduct from the land goes towards Malaysia, right? And you can see from the other opposite angle, this is uh, the Woodlands Jetty. I think it's a popular landmark that a lot of you may know, right? At the Woodlands uh, Waterfront Park. Then if you go, there's a halfway point. This is basically the sea border between Malaysia and Singapore. So Singapore will just build until here, right? And the Malaysia side will build until the other side, because they have to build on their respective border and they will join that, right? In the middle, right? So this, this, this sort of, this thing here sort of represents the halfway, the halfway point, right? And as you cross into Malaysia side, uh, if you're familiar with JB, this is the MSC Cyberport building, and you can see RNF Princess Cove. This is a project uh, by a Chinese developer, and it curves uh, above ground. So the Malaysia side is above ground all the way, right? Uh, past JB Central, Comta, JBCC, and uh, the RTS stations over here. So the, the Malaysia side is actually three buildings. I do cover this in a separate video uh, earlier, where they have a transportation hub and their own uh, integration building. Of course, there's Kim Teng Park. These are all landed houses. That I guess one day will be acquired back by the government and the Tri Tower condo also just next to the this RTS station here. Okay, so some of this may not be new information, but it's nice to see all this on the scale model. Okay, uh, I now have a video which I'm going to play and I'm going to narrate to you as you see the video. I hope uh, the video is clear, right? Otherwise, um, yeah, I, I took this with my mobile phone. I did check with them whether this video is available online on YouTube or something, or can I download the video? Of course, they said no. <laughs> uh, yeah, so unfortunately, I have to shoot with my phone like that. Uh, it's the best I can do right now. Maybe my anger could have been better, but uh, do watch the video. I hope you enjoy. I'll try to narrate this over, over the video so I can explain to you what you see. The first video is a construction video, right? It shows you how the construction company, I think in this case, is a Penta Ocean, 
uh, how does Penta Ocean as a contractor build uh, the RTS station and the, the viaducts towards Malaysia? So of course, the first thing they do is the piling. Uh, interestingly, you notice down there, it's probably too small to see, but they even have the timeline of the yellow line that's moving at the bottom. That's the timeline of when uh, the construction phase is. Uh, the P5859 actually represents the, the viaduct, right? the pillars that are holding the track. Yeah, as you've seen in the earlier photo, actually on the Singapore side, these marine viaducts, they already started work. They're also doing the piling right now in the sea. Yeah, you can see the, the pink point, the purple point, actually that refers to the Malaysia side. Right? So that's where they stop and they hand over to Malaysia. They try to connect to the Malaysia side uh, construction. Yeah, so all these are construction videos. <laughs> and you see they do have a, like a handover point uh, because there's actually a second contractor by the Singapore side, which I'm not sure, I can't remember what he does. He probably builds the other side, uh, some other works near the HDB flats. This video is probably informative if you are uh, somewhat you enjoy this kind of thing. It's probably a bit too dry for some people, <laughs> but uh, I leave the video here. I do have a second video after this, right? Uh, stay on for, for that one. That one's probably a bit more interesting in terms of uh, what are the components in the RTS uh, immigration building in Singapore. Yeah, the, the end here is a bit nice. So you can see that's the underground, uh, you show the underground tracks, right? It seems to be two, two actually is two with the third one. The third one is actually the, the Thompson line MRT, right? So artist impression of train leaving. And you can see here the, the purple spot where they link to the Malaysia side. So after beyond this is Malaysia side, right? Uh, and the bridge is high enough that ships can go underneath, right? Or at least small boats. I do wish the Malaysia side will do one as well. I think it will be quite informative. Uh, they do have an office already in Komta GPCC, but they have nothing like sort of a public display kind of thing. Yeah.
So this is a bird's eye view. So this is a drop off I mentioned earlier. It's not a car park, yeah. So it's quite, but it's quite large for a drop off though. I don't know why. Maybe because buses or stuff. So you you drop off here, right? And you notice that actually it's a retail podium. Uh, so all these are like uh retail shops, and um, yeah, you can see they you know the, the artist impressions for retail shops are right, and some places to eat, fashion shopping and stuff. So they have pretty nice entrance. I guess it's quite big because they probably cater for many cars and buses. And of course, you go under, uh, you take escalator, go downstairs. So this is the ticketing concourse on level B1. And it's quite big, yeah. You can see it's a pretty large building. If you have been to those train stations in like London or Paris, uh, I think it's or New York, right? It's quite large. I think very similar to that. So you buy the ticket, then there's a, you go through the to the immigration. So the security checks. And then you go to the Malaysia side immigration. So level B1 just now was a Singapore immigration. You go downstairs, it's the Malaysia immigration. So the idea is that uh, both immigrations are on the same building. Yeah? So that will save your travel time. Right? Today, if you know what I mean, you have to go up and down twice, right? Malaysia immigration on one side, Singapore immigration on one side. But the RTS will have the model where both immigrations are in the same building. So you notice that you do Singapore immigration, then Malaysia immigration, then you come down to the B3, which is the departure platform. Right, so it should be one B2, B3 uh, departure platform. And here's basically like any typical MRT station kind of uh, platform, right? You have train on the, it should be only by one side. I guess they have a left and right situation. A scenario, right? So this is just like any MRT station kind of kind of layout. Or probably it's an interchange with the Singapore uh, Woodlands North uh, Thomson Line MRT though. So you can see here uh, train and then assume if you come back from Malaysia, right? So you, you exit the train, right? And you notice here uh, that you will not go through immigration again. Because when you when you will when you boarded the train in Malaysia, you actually also go through uh, Singapore and Malaysia immigration already. So the Malaysia side also we have a similar setup where the both in country immigration will be in the Malaysia station, similar like what you saw earlier. But of course it's the other way around. So when you arrive in Singapore, right, there's no more immigration. You immediately come out, you notice you exit here at the retail area, the concourse already, right? The arrival concourse. You don't go through immigration a second time in Singapore when you come back from Malaysia, right? If you're not clear, you can watch my earlier video uh, about this when you check out my YouTube channel. So area looks pretty nice. Uh, architecturally also looks good. And you can see it's a pretty big building actually. It's not those uh, small, small platforms that we're talking about. And you can see, ah yeah, the this is the connectivity to the cross to the Thomson North MRT station, which basically links you to the Singapore MRT network. And you can then take train to anywhere in Singapore through the MRT. Or exit the building here. Yeah, and they're showing you connection to bus stop, etc. If you're going to use the bus or take a taxi or something like that. Okay, so I, I found it quite interesting also as it gives you a visual uh, artist impression view of how um, the RTS building is like, right? I think that's quite interesting to see. I think a lot of you have probably not seen this before. <laughs> So I hope this uh, this video was useful useful to you. Okay, so that's it. Yeah, so uh, that's it for my video today. Uh, that's all they have actually at the Project Information Center. Not a lot, a lot of stuff. I think a lot of it also is maybe already known to you if you are an RTS uh, enthusiast. 
right? Um, but there's some of those videos are especially new, I think, and a lot of people have not seen them before. The artist impression of the, the, uh, the CIQ building in Singapore is also new. I think a lot of people have not seen that either. And uh, as I mentioned, I mean, the reason why we are so interested in this project is because, like I said, it's a game changer for property in JB. Uh, a lot of people have invested in real estate in Johor, right? And uh, probably nine out of 10 of them have not really, have not made money, all lost money. <laughs> and um, the artist is a game changer that will probably change that. So if you are a believer to buy something opportunistic, uh, to get uh, the edge, right? I think, of course, buying in Malaysia is higher risk than buying in Singapore, right? But definitely with the RTS coming, I think that is something to look forward to and definitely will give a lot of property, especially those which are near to RTS uh, or have good connectivity to RTS, right? A boost in prices. So this is the reason why I still talk about JP Real Estate, Iskandar Real Estate quite a fair bit, even though majority of owners so far have lost money. It's because with the RTS coming, Right, uh, Singapore construction is, is quite decent. Uh, Malaysia side has built about 17% based on their track. Uh, track. They are also doing a piling work right now on the Malaysia side. Uh, we don't have a good video probably in the future when uh, there's more things to see on the Malaysia side. We'll probably do one video as well. Uh, maybe end of this year or next year. Right, but I, uh, I, like, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do like what I'm sharing today, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, like, share. Uh, I do talk about Singapore real estate, Malaysia real estate uh, generally, sometimes other places depending or other topics, depending on what is interesting for the topic to speak about today. Thank you very much. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.